Hi everyone, so my name is Logan and uh, today the topic that I'm going to be talking about is something that I think can help a lot of people whether they're in high school, um, they're in college, or they're a recent graduate like I am. And I used to, uh, recently graduated from George Mason University, yay! So any of my George Mason um, fellow college graduates, I'm right here with you. Uh, so this is especially for pandemic, right? We've been in um, the pandemic since December of uh, 2019 and it is now almost January of 2021. So it's officially been a year now, which is kind of crazy to think about. But just to bring you to where I am right now in my career, I was pursuing a career in musical theater. I got my BFA uh, in uh, musical theater and um, film. So going from there i like to apply what i've worked really hard with for this degree over the past four years and put it into um something that i can do right now to get through this pandemic and it's something that's enjoyable something that i love to do something that makes me happy and that i can do um, to make others happy and that is nannying and eventually i kind of take you in a day of a uh, life as a nanny but right now i just kind of want to tell you how i started nannying and why i'm deciding to do that during the pandemic so on average the jobs i was working in college i was doing wag i was doing rover uh, I was, you know, dog boarding, dog sitting, all of that stuff. And then I had done some some babysitting um, jobs on the side. I had also been working for an acting company that did after school programs. We went into schools and we taught uh, kids uh, theater and we did plays and stuff with them at the end of each school semester. So that was really, really fun and exciting. So I've always really been interested in animal and child care work. And the previous job I was doing, I was working at an animal clinic and I was making about $12 an hour. No, when I was in college, I thought, oh my gosh, that's so great. But I was really not uh, looking into the future. Uh, and I wasn't looking into obviously how difficult things would be during the pandemic, right? I, I didn't realize that um, we would be losing our jobs or getting furloughed or uh, laid off due to the pandemic, right? So now that we're in the pandemic and I'm out of school and I'm paying for uh, rent and car insurance and car payments and phone bills and groceries and gas and all of that super fun stuff that you have to do as an adult, I've had to get into nannying. And that's great because I want to tell you how much money you can make as a nanny. So. I thought you could only make like, you know, eight to $10 as a nanny, like I used to make in high school when I was babysitting. But nanny is actually a very pristine job, um, very wealthy families, and not necessarily just wealthy, but you know, middle-class families um, want to have a nanny. They want to have someone uh, to take care of their kids, whether it's, you know, uh, fully take care of them or almost as a family assistant, right? Like. Um, so, you know, the parents would be at home working and I would take the kids you know, to and from school, their outside activities and everything like that. But due to the pandemic, so many kids um, and especially families who are quarantining, you know, and I'm quarantining at this time. Uh, if you find that mutual trust where you find someone, a family that cares about their safety and health and you care about your safety and health as well as others, then you can find that mutual relationship there and build upon that. And so that's what I have been doing and that's what I um, have just recently found. So with that, um, these families are willing to pay anywhere from 15 to $30 an hour, which is awesome for a recent college graduate, I would say, um, and at least especially for the pandemic and for myself who got a good degree in theater and theater is not highly accessible right now. So I'm, um, with my current position, I'm able to make $22 an hour, obviously, you know, with taxes taken out and whatnot. Um, but that's still really, really, really good. And it allows me to work four days a week for about seven hours a day. So I'm not exhausting myself. And with everyone going through the pandemic, there's a lot of, um, people are going through anxiety and depression. And as someone who struggles with anxiety, it has been hard for me to get a full-time job just because, um, you know, 
I want things to progress with my future. I want to eventually get a teaching certificate and to be able to teach and have that career. Um, but right now, that that's not accessible to me during the pandemic. So I have to stay at home and I can't, you know, go to classes and whatnot. Um, and I know everyone's situation is different, but that's just how mine is right now. And I, I don't feel comfortable going to like, in-person classes right now. And online isn't my favorite cup of tea. So yeah, $22 an hour, you know, that's, um, about two grand a month after taxes. It's two grand a month and it helps me with everything. I'm able to pay my rent. I'm able to pay my bills. I'm able to afford my food and my gas, and I'm able to have a little bit of extra savings at the end of the month, which is awesome because I know when you're young, like it's always fun going out, getting drinks, partying, all that stuff. But even when, you know, you can't really do that during the pandemic, but you still want to take care of yourself. You still want to treat yourself, you know, to, um, nice things. So it is really nice to be able to build on your savings, uh, in your early twenties. So I highly recommend that. So now I'm going to move into what I did to find this nanny position, to find all these nanny positions because families are eager, families are active. You know, after I got the position that I had now, I've had so many families reach out to me and so many people that really need help in, in childcare. So I went on to a couple different apps. I'd always been on Indeed, which is great, um, but I've actually found Sitter City and it's Sitter, S-I-T-T-E-R, City, C-I-T-Y, um, dot com and you create a profile. And the really cool thing about this app is it's almost like Rover or WAG, where you sign up, you can get yourself a validated background check, um, validated uh, license, like driving registration check, all of those kind of things, and create your own uh, profile. And so I talked about my degree and the things I had done in childcare and animal care in the past, and um, just a little bit about myself, and you know, obviously a profile photo and your age and whatnot. Um, and that really helped me, um, have people reach out to me because, you know, they knew fully what I was about. They knew fully about my experience. And then after that, once you start receiving, um, you obviously apply to each of those jobs and you can create your, um, little resume on there. Going into that, you will have families reach out to you. I guarantee it. Um, and if you guys need help with this, I please feel free to reach out. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, put in my, um, like link my Instagram, Facebook, something like that. And um, then you guys can be able to reach out to me or please comment in the um, box below and subscribe please because YouTube is something that I'm getting into so that I can make everyone else aware of this to help you guys uh, find jobs as well. Because I know it's been really hard and sometimes we don't always feel like we have a support system. And I want to be part of that. I want to be a support system for you. If you don't feel support from home or from your friends, I want to be able to help you with that. So yeah, um, going back into the families reaching out to you, you know, you set up initial interview because of coronavirus. Um, in-person interview isn't the first choice. Typically, um, a few phone interviews have, uh, you know, at least three references. If someone, if a family reaches out to you, get through the interview and everything, that next step is going to be references. And even before, so perhaps so you make want to make sure that you have really good references, people that you've worked for for a good amount of time, people that you had a really great relationship with, you know, all of those, I'll check off all of those boxes. And so you want to at least have three. And I want to say that because if you, if someone says, Hey, can you give me a couple of references or Hey, can you give me a reference? And you send one over, they might want to hear a couple more, um, people, you know, speak about your relationship with, um, your, your job experience with them and how it went and your professionalism and all of that stuff. So yeah, um, make sure you have a bunch of those. Um, make sure you are just confident and positive and you present yourself well. So when I was doing the orphan interviews, I was always making sure I was nicely dressed. I had a little bit of makeup on. My hair wasn't crazy like it is now. Um, so you wanna make sure you have all of that prepared. 
And once you do that, you just keep moving further along in the process. And you want to make sure that, you know, you always are filling out your W2, the, your W2, whether it's a W2, sorry, whether it's a W4, whether it's a 1099 for uh, independent contractors, you want to make sure that you're filling that stuff out. So please, please, please do that because filing taxes is super important. You don't want the government to come after you. Trust me on that one. So always make sure the family is being professional and not paying you under the table. Make sure that, you know, you're getting checks through a payroll company. So that is always really good to do. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, it's about all I wanted to tell you guys. And I will start making videos going further into the process and what it's like to, yeah, of course, uh, in the day of the life of a nanny. Um, you do have to wake up early sometimes. You know, you always have to be on time. You always have to be professional. It would just be like a tech job or a business job. You know, you still have to be very professional no matter what field you're working in. So always remember that. Always remember to have a positive, positive attitude and that's how you'll get further in life. All right, much love guys. Please like and subscribe. Share this video, share this content and I will give you lots more in the future, I promise. Thank you.